Hey there, my name is Rich. I am the co-founder and creator of two high ticket courses and I also work as a coach. And if you're watching this video right now, you are thinking to yourself whether or not you should move forward with Adam Sarah and his team. So I made this video to address uh, the 10 most frequently asked questions that I get when people reach out to me. Uh, usually they might reach out to me because I'm on Adam Sarah's website as one of the testimonials and they send me a DM on LinkedIn and they're wondering um you know whether or not they should work with adam and then or somebody from his team refers uh you over to me so this video is to go out there and try to answer the 10 most frequently asked questions that i always get all the time so it starts off usually with this number one rich uh if you don't know who are you what does your company do uh what's the price point of my offering you want to see you know the course or the coaching offer that i'm selling is similar to the price point that you're selling um what question should I ask you, bro? Uh, uh, what is the conversion rate or what is the close rate for Adam's team? How long does it take for Adam's team to get onboarded? Uh, what happens during the months when the call volume is low? Um, how happy are you working with Adam and his team? Do I think Adam and his team can go out there and basically work for your business? And then uh, why am I doing this video for Adam? And then anything else that you can go out there and tell me about working with Adam? Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the first question, usually to go out there and gauge for credibility. My name is Rich. I'm one of the co-founders of a company called Product Gym, and I'm also the creator of another company called Boss Foundry. So Product Gym, uh, I'm just going to make it very simple. We help people that are interested in making a transition into technology uh, go ahead and upskill. So we teach everything from AI automation courses, product management courses, and we take care of either you know the job skills which is, includes job hunting support, and then also the career skills. And then I also have a second program here where I show people how to leverage those same skills and start a side hustle or a secondary income stream. And I've been doing this for, if you go to my LinkedIn, a little bit over six years. Uh, another question that I get that I don't take offense of, but I guess sometimes people wanna know uh, is, you know, are your courses any good, bro? Uh, well, you know, uh, USA Today voted us as number three that's me and my co-founder, out of the top 10 online education companies in America back in 2021. So that's not for me to decide. <laughs> that's for the market to decide. But if you go to my testimonial page, I think we are one of the best competitors in our niche. So if we got that part of the social credibility aspect out of it, uh, now we can go ahead and move on. Usually with second question is, what's your price point? So our courses range from anywhere between six, eight to upwards of $10,000, depending on um, the level of additional service that you want. But we are in the high ticket price range and we do have some low ticket offerings as well. But our best selling course is actually at a $6,000 price point. So what questions should I ask you? Uh, usually outside of these initial questions that people usually want to know, uh, this is the point when people ask me like, you know, what, so what other questions should I ask you? Uh, generally speaking, the next most common question that I usually get is like, what's the conversion rate? I could say that after 30, 20 to 30 calls, Adam and his team's conversion rate pretty much uh, got down to the point where it was on par with my top closers. So. Everybody wants to know about like conversion rate. Uh, if their conversion rate wasn't converting as well as we'd want them to, uh, I wouldn't be doing this video for them. But I think one of the things that I do like to emphasize a lot when I'm talking to a lot of the coaches and the, uh, uh, that I've talked to through Adam, they're doing all of the sales themselves. And um, obviously you've done it for a very long time. You have a very high close rate, whether you hire Adam's team or whether you bring on your own team member, their close rate's not going to be as good as yours. And I made a lot of mistakes when I hired my first two salespeople, wanting them to sound exactly like me. I'm going to tell you something. That is no way to go out there and grow a high ticket business because you definitely need an additional person on the phone. And what they need more than anything else is just more calls. Even if the conversion or the close rate isn't going to be as good as yours initially, uh, trust me, with the more calls that you pipe over, the better that they're going to go ahead and do. I mean, Clearly, they have so many other coaches that they're selling for. So the more calls you get them, the faster they're going to be able to get to the conversion and close rate that you want. Uh, but I would say a final tip about that is you should also know a, a lot of coaches that I talk to, they also don't know their own conversion or close rate. So how do you measure if they're, they have a good conversion or close rate? Uh, next question is how long does Adam, does it take for Adam's team to go out there and get onboarded? Uh, they're very, very, I, I would say the onboarding process was pretty seamless for us. Um, 
where it takes kind of longer, I think, is for coaches that actually don't have their scripts together. They don't know what their offering is. Um, their onboarding process is pretty seamless. They have a clear checklist. You go out there, you answer all these different questions. Uh, you provide them with the scripts and then um, the record, you know, sales recordings if you have any. Uh, they have a very clear checklist of what they need from you. And it comes down to how much time it takes for you and your team to get them the things that they need. Because Adam has sold more than one offering for me. So we've done the onboarding process with Adam about more than three to four or five times at this point. Um, <clears throat> it just comes down to if you have everything that they need in order on their side, they're usually pretty quick about it. Uh, what happens during the months when the call volume is low? Um, I think this works in both favors because, you know, because this team operates on 100% commission, teams were like times when the call volume is low. You don't have to pay them anything. I mean, even if you have like, if you have somebody on base, they're gonna go ahead and they're just gonna like, it, it's gonna be very stressful for you because you're thinking about like, what should I be doing for this person? For the times that people um, that are very busy, I get stressed out too as a business owner. There are certain times when people really wanna make a career transition. And if they can't get in contact with me or somebody on my team for like, you know, five to six days, sometimes like during December, we get booked out two and a half weeks in advance. <clears throat> the craziest thing is like if they can't get in contact with us, they still need to talk to us before they make the, before they make a decision to go with us. They're just going to end up talking to somebody else and they usually go with them because there are months in the year where like in the beginning of the year, new year, new job, new me, they're going to really want to talk to people. So uh, having said that, I think it works both ways. Uh, when uh, if you have an internal sales team, call volumes high, you can go out there and definitely make more money because you're sharing it with them. Uh, and then also call volumes low. You don't have to really stress out about it. How happy am I working with Adam's team? Happy enough to go out there and make them this video. <laughs> uh, do I think uh, Adam's team can go ahead and work out for your offering? Honestly, without knowing what your offering is, I don't really know that. So if you want to reach out to me directly on LinkedIn, I mean, we're not hard to find. Product Gym, pretty unique name. I'm one of the co-founders here. Uh, you click on my face, send me a DM, more than happy to chop it up with you. Uh, the next thing here is like, why am I doing this video for Adam? Well, I'm doing this video for Adam because a lot of people are already reaching out to me organically in the, uh, already. So I don't actually mind doing this for Adam just because like with Adam, I mean, my members and prospective members, they're doing the same thing too. It's like, they'll see somebody like coming off from a finance background, consulting background, and they'll reach out to them and be like, Hey, you know, uh, I want to go out there and ask you some questions, right? Uh, I think this makes for much more structured communication. I'm always happy to go ahead and talk to, uh, uh, it comes back, people do it for me. I'm more than happy to go ahead and do it for him. But like, this is just so much time that's wasted going back and forth. I'd rather go ahead and um, everybody that I talk to, we've exchanged some tips in terms of like, uh, how to scale up operations with like VAs or uh, some kind of lead generation tips. There's a lot I think all coaches can learn from each other. So I'd rather have those conversations and these baseline questions. Uh, and then um, anything else that I can tell you about working with Adam? I, I think the last and final note is that you have to come to a decision that you want to go ahead and scale up your business and you're ready to go ahead and take your business up to the next level. Because here's the thing. You're, you, if you're doing all the sales by yourself, it's already a very, very uphill battle because you can't be creating the content, you can't be creating the curriculum, you can't be doing the coaching, you can't be helping people achieve results and doing the sales. Like eventually something's gonna have to go. And uh, what I've learned with multiple offerings is sales is the easiest thing to go. You can hire salespeople, but you're gonna have to pay them a base. If you end up hiring a 100% commission person, it's, not every single month that you're gonna have a high call volume and uh, algorithms change if you're using paid ads and all that other kind of stuff, right? Um, so like at some point, like even if you have like 100% commission closer, if you don't have enough calls booked on the calendar, they're just gonna go ahead and move off to another opportunity anyways. With Adam and his team, I don't think their whole team is gonna move anywhere. Like they're always gonna be there. And even your best performing salespeople, they're eventually gonna go ahead and leave. Um, I know that for a fact. Uh, we've been doing this for six years now. If you go to my LinkedIn, we've been doing this for six years. And I can tell you, like eventually, there's only so much commission that you can pay them. There's only so, there's only, there's a rate that you can only sell this course for 
So eventually those people, they're gonna realize with me, my sales team, they usually, the biggest life change that they go through is getting married. Uh, this is for guys and girls. They realize I gotta make more money and I still gotta go out there. Our close ratio is like, you know, four to five calls, one conversion. That's four to five hours of their life to go out there and convert a commission check that's not gonna get any bigger. So they always end up, you know, once you're done spending all your time, energy, training the hell out of them, they go ahead and they move on and they do something else and they sell for a much higher ticket. So eventually, uh, it's not whether or not you're gonna bring on a, a commission sales team, it's when you're gonna bring on a commission sales team and I can't recommend Adam's team enough. With that said, um, Reach out to me directly on LinkedIn if you guys have any other questions. But uh, yeah, you know, make the decision to go out there. Usually people have a few other uh, questions. Reach out to me. I'm more than happy to go ahead and chop it up with you. Uh, but I want to get these baseline questions out of the way. Talk to you very soon.